got uh, the Zambian High Commissioner to South Africa, Mr. Muyeba Chikonde. Ambassador, thank you for your time. It is not Thank often you. that we go and we say to ambassadors, hello, come into the studio and tell us what you do in terms of uh, attracting investment into Zambia, but that's exactly what we're doing today. I would like you to outline what someone potentially who's watching this program and is thinking, Zambia is one of the fastest growing economies on the continent. What kind of things do I need to consider before I step in or even begin to try and investigate? I think the, f the first and foremost uh, important aspect for us in Zambia has been what we are selling is uh, the political stability uh, and also the fact that the micro uh, fundamentals in, in terms of uh, the physical policy and uh, the monetary policy have been stable right. in the past uh, five years. So we have got, uh, we've registered um, um, growth in terms of uh, five over 5.6 uh, to 6.5 percent and we are targeting 7 percent over the past decade. Right. So we are looking at all those factors and we think that those factors are good enough. Yeah. We have an, a climate which is very, very good for, for very friendly in terms of uh, investment. Sure. So all those aspects, uh, including that we have got uh, very kind people, very, very welcoming. I can attest to that. Yes. And, and I can also uh, attest to the fact that it's probably one of the best weather systems you can find anywhere exactly, in the world. Exactly. Because the belt lies within Harare and you know where Harare <laughs> and me are one. Okay. So I want to understand. Now, you, you, you speak about the political stability. You also speak about uh, the high growth rates that we have seen. Now, in terms of uh, the Zambian uh, government's attitude to private private investment. What would you say are some of the key things that you have put in place to make sure that when people look at Zambia and uh, maybe they look at Malawi and maybe they look at DRC, they will say, no, I want to go to Zambia. We've, uh, we looked at the whole inv investment portfolio uh, scenario in terms of, and the whole environment. Yeah. And we looked at what is that that is hindering uh, direct uh, investment. And we came up with what we call Zambia Development Agency, right. which is an agency. It's like a one-stop shop. Okay. Additionally, we are going to a one-stop one shop okay. where we are reducing the licensing. We are also looking at uh, a, an institution that will provide all the necessary information on investment right. in one shop. So we're also looking at uh, the l establishing uh, any company within 24 hours. Right. So within the ZDA, there is a charter that has uh, various uh, you know, uh, commitments right. that it has had with uh, various investors. So you're cutting down on the rate tape in order we to make it We are cutting down the rate tape, and that's the Zambia. idea. That's the idea, to okay. cut down the rate tape. Right. Now, we know that competition in Africa now is rife, because certainly when you look at countries like Rwanda, you look at countries like Mozambique, you look at your Tanzania, these are all countries that are growing in excess of uh, 7%, and they are very competitive indeed. Are there incentives in terms of tax, in terms of uh, uh, coverage of uh, your, your initial capital costs, and those kind of things that the Zambian government is looking at in trying to, 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 to attract investors? I think that is one, one of the major attractive uh, uh, items that we have on our investment packages. Those are in incentives in terms of tax, the right. corporate tax, yeah. which is zero to 35% okay. uh, in the first five, five zero six years. Zero to 35%? Yes, in the, in the first five How years. does one qualify for zero? Well, because <laughs> <laughs> I think that's where <laughs> someone else would begin and say, I want to get zero. No, zero is when, uh, you know, the first, the first five years, uh, I, th I think if, if I'm, I'm correct, sure. you, we, we, you don't pay tax, right. you know. And then we, we, we get into the, the, the second phase where we are looking at the, the first five to six, seven years. And then the eighth and ninth year where you pay 75%. So it graduates. Okay. But most of these, like I say, you, you discuss them with Zambia Development Agency. Right. They are also dependent on the, 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 the investment in okay. terms of the amount. Oh, I see. And okay. also the sector. Okay, because it has to be a sector, sector yeah. of uh, preference for Zambia. Is there a specific sector that you're targeting? Of course, when you talk Zambia, we talk copper, and uh, you talk Zambia, of course, I have to say it, you talk the Victoria Falls. But are there other sectors that you're targeting that you want people to specifically come into because you want investment in, in there? Mining has been uh, our major strong uh, you know, sector. Sure. But, uh, you know, it's a straightforward uh, with mining. Yeah. So we are also looking at diversification, and that is a key now. And uh, agriculture is a key sector. Mm. Uh, infrastructure is a key sector, especially energy. Right. Uh, we are also looking at uh, IT. Those are one of some of the major uh, you know, sectors that we are, we are looking at. Yeah. Uh, agriculture is key because uh, you see the mining sector has been subjected to shocks mm. Uh, mm. because mm. because the currency you know doesn't stabilize quickly. Yeah. 
etc etc and prices are dependent and prices on, are the, dependent global on the global environment yes yeah. and so that's why we are targeting um, i mean uh, agriculture as one of our major drivers of growth in yeah. the next uh, uh, five years to come. Yeah. Now you have been speaking to investors here in South Africa and trying to encourage them to, to go into Zambia and you've been talking about uh, one of the key pillars of that plan which is the sixth national development plan. Just give us a sense of what's contained in that plan and what message it has for investors. The sixth national development plan um, derives from the understanding that uh, we have had sustained economic growth. Right. We now want to translate that economic growth into poverty reduction. So that is what the, the, the theme is. It's sustainable, sustained growth uh, towards poverty reduction and job creation. Right. So that is key. Okay. So what we're looking at also is uh, in that job creation, you should understand that we're looking at also beneficiation. Right. So that is key. But also among us the major uh, um, thrust is uh, the human development aspect. Yeah. So that is where we are looking at. Okay. And, and investment is directed towards that. Yeah. Uh, that Beneficiation system. is an interesting one. It's one I have had, I think, now for the last maybe couple of years, if not more, uh, at fora such as the African Development Bank, where you actually have sessions which are targeted at this. And one of the issues people raise is that Africa's economies are small. If you want to beneficiate, you need to create the market. And you also need the skills, you need the capital, you need a whole host of other things that most African countries ha don't have. How would Zambia address those challenges in order to be able to drive people to beneficiate so that Zambia's copper just doesn't go as uh, the, the raw material that it currently is going to China and other places? Yeah, I agree with you. I think what you pointed out is cardinal. You know, it's uh, we have small markets ex and et cetera, et cetera, and especially that most of the investment is dictated by uh, you know outside forces. Yes. But uh, also we should realize that uh, these resources are, are not there to stay for a long time. Yes. And also we have a duty to our generation that uh, you know that we need to also answer for the things that we are doing. Yeah. So Zambia's strategy is that we we are also looking at uh, economic zones. Mm -hmm. The development of econo economic zones in areas where these raw materials are okay. is what is an entry strategy. Okay. And also the fact that we 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 we, we put uh, not really le legislation, yeah. uh, which is a uh, non uh, what should I say deterrent, but yeah. that is uh, that is conducive. It's a win-win situation. Sure. I'll give you an example of the, the the agriculture sector. We are looking at the farm blocks, and that the farmers come in, but also they utilize the the, the existing farm small scale farmers within okay. there for okay. our grower schemes. Okay. You see, okay. that's one okay. way or the other. Sure. It's it's a model. So we are packaging those in models yeah. so that there is, there is direct beneficiation. Yeah. But are you also not looking at copper? I'll give you an example. Here in South Africa, there's been quite a lot of work that I've heard is being done in terms of uh, looking at the platinum sector so that uh, beyond uh, shipping it off as a concentrate, uh, the platinum is actually used to make, I think I heard Minister Davis talking about uh, fewer, cell, fewer cells and they're talking about uh, perhaps developing a jewelry industry around the platinum mines. Given that you say Zambia and you say copper, is there not an opportunity to work further on refining copper within Zambia so we ship the refined product into Zimbabwe, into DRC, into Angola, into Tanzania, into Malawi? Yeah, you will recall that we have already an industry called Zamefa, which, which is really a by a byproduct, or I should say it it's, it's concentrates on the byproducts of copper, that yeah. is copper wire and et cetera, et cetera. Right. Of course, we need more of such, uh, yeah. such, such countries, and that's where you're driving at. Sure. You know, and that's where our, our, our thrust is as well. We're yeah. trying to provide yeah. more incentives in right. that area. Okay. And also, government has, uh, has embarked on what, we, what we're calling the industrial cooperation. You so basically, to establish that yeah. is basically to start now what, to, what that, we call that, the that process, process of beneficiation, exactly. Yeah. Because what we have realized is that uh, no one will actually do these things yeah. if we don't do it ourselves. Absolutely. And that's where I'm going to take in my next point. Uh, an interesting discussion at one of the international meetings I attended was around trying to discriminate between African investors and foreigners in the sense they are non-African. Do you think there is merit in looking at a company like, say, Sasso in South Africa and giving it greater incentives than, say, looking at a company like uh, uh, ExxonMobil uh, from the U.S.? I think so. Personally, I think so. Because, you see, what the, the primary role I think that we should work towards is, is regional integration. Mm. And South Africa is within our boundaries. I think that uh, within ourselves we need to start demonstrating that we can trade better mm. and quicker and faster. And, and more friendlier yeah. than, than the outside. It doesn't make sense, uh, Godfrey, 
for you to go uh, leaving your neighbor yeah. and you go and uh, start developing a market outside. Absolutely. I don't think so. And you treat so. me the same as you would treat a Russian, to, 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 to give another example. I, yes, exactly. But, but in terms of trade, I think that we need as uh, Africans yeah. to start thinking on how to trade easily. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We must talk about what you have done with Zimbabwe, which is interesting, the Univisa idea. We talked about it the last time mm -hmm. we interviewed you. I want you to talk about it again and tell us how, how, how is, is it working well? Well, I think it's, 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 it's something that is uh, in, the, in, in the process. It's, yeah. it's, it's not really fully operational because uh, it's, it's the discussion uh, under now on how to, to share the revenues coming right. there okay. from. Yeah. So you see, but that is, is I think, a, a, a good way to start looking at region integration mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the borderless uh, region yeah. uh, like Southern Africa itself. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, Godfrey, the people that are really hurt in the, in the fact of these non-tariff barriers etc yeah. are the poorest of the poor yeah. including the women that do the the, the basic uh, border crossing you're looking at me ambassador you're looking at yes. me i'm one of the most hurt by these <laughs> amongst of the poorest of the poorest before you <laughs> i let you go i must ask you about uh, uh any misconceptions that people have around zambia that you'd like to dispel well i, th I think i think uh, to say the least i think th there's been also this this mushrooming of online pub publications right uh, you know which are really causing a lot of harm I, the I should internet. Say that. yeah it's the <laughs> internet but there's nothing we can do i mean it's part of uh, the globalized world yeah we just yeah. have to tap into it ourselves sure but i think there's a lot of misinformation that is oh. coming from uh, sometimes uh, within people that really don't understand Zambia, yeah. especially in the diaspora. Sure. They have never been uh, to, to Zambia in the last 20 years. Yeah. And, uh, Do you want to address one of them very quickly? Well, yes, especially the issues uh, surrounding, um, you know, the political situation in a country, yeah. you know, the presidency and all that. So I yeah. think it's, uh, there's a lot of misinformation and that tends to affect the, 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 the market, yeah. you know. But I would want to assure everyone that uh, things are under control. Yeah. We, we have uh, a president who is working, yeah. he's taking a bit of rest, but yeah. uh, I think everything is, is working well. Ah. And I, I just wanted to make the people to be responsible in terms of what... Uh, How they, re they, they report... Uh, exactly, that and they should, they should be more patriotic. Okay, but understanding as well the importance of the presidents in the context of South Vietnam. Exactly. Ambassador, we have to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed. It's uh, Ambassador Mieba Chikonde, the High Commissioner of uh, Zambia.